Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top 7 themes that I found that are compatible with the iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak. Now this video is sponsored by the theme developer called Slaf or Slaf. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I'm sorry if I butchered your name pretty badly. But with that being said, I'm going to be showing you guys the two themes that are available by him. That are the first two that I'm going to be reviewing. And that being said, let's get straight into this video. Alright, so the first theme I'm going to be showing you that's by him is called Aramo. Now, if we look at it, we can see that every single icon is pretty much a pretty minimalistic theme that he developed himself, and every single icon is pretty different. The tone of the colors of every single icon is pretty smooth, so there's nothing pretty bright that stands out completely from the others, as well as there is the clock and calendar icon that are compatible with this and are interactive. So as you can see, the clock is moving, but since this is a photo, you actually cannot see the animation. Now, if we go into an enemy and check out the theme itself and what you guys can enable, you guys can choose if you want a boot logo, have the CC icons or control center icons themed, as well as having an icon mask applied and keyboard sounds, setting icons, as well as UI elements. So this theme is pretty jam packed with a whole bunch of features. So go ahead and check out the first theme. Again, it's called Aramo. Alright, so the second theme that he has given me is called Veloma. Now this theme right here, it's a little bit different than the previous one that I showed you guys called Aramo. Now this one, it basically has a lot more colors that are kind of popping out and there is a lot of cartoon looking icons applied to the theme. So as you guys can see on the bottom right hand corner, my contacts icon, it does have a little round shape to it, which gives it a little cartoon feeling as well as having the maps, app store, wallet have a pretty bright green lime color to make it stand out a lot more. Again, this is very minimalistic as well, and I think it looks really great with any theme or setup that you guys might want to have as well. If we go ahead and pop up into Anemone and check out what you guys can enable, we of course get the app icons as well as the badges. So I'm going to bring up the last screenshot. So as you can see on the very bottom, I didn't actually get any other icons that are big in the screenshot. But on the bottom, you guys can see that it is black and it has a different kind of tone for the notification badges. There are also two kinds of boot logos that you guys can apply as well as having control center icons as well themed. You guys can also have icon effects if you guys have the tweak iconomatic. And there are three kinds of icon masks that you guys can enable. I just chose the first one just to show you guys for this demonstration. Now, of course, just like the other theme, you guys can apply a keyboard sound as well as message bubbles inside of iMessage. And you guys can theme the icons in your settings and system as well as the status bar icons and other UI elements that are on the phone. Now UI elements are just like my Wi-Fi as you can see from the screenshot in the top left hand corner the Wi-Fi bars are going up and there are dots instead. So go ahead and enable one of these and see what they do and I guarantee it'll make your phone look a lot nicer if you guys have all these things enabled and fit to your liking. So that guys again this theme is called Veloma. And that's all for the themes that the dev has given me. So if you guys want to go ahead and check them out, go ahead and purchase it on Big Boss or Maxi. I'm not too sure. I'll make a clarification on this video right now once I edit it. And go ahead and support all his content and the, his themes that are created. Alright, so moving on to some other themes that are not sponsored by this video. And the first one is called Lotus. So you guys may have seen this theme going around for a pretty long time or you guys did not know it at all. So this theme is pretty different from what the dev has given me. There's a lot of lot of colors that are very standing out and are popping out towards the eye. So if you guys like things that pop out, go ahead and try this theme. It also has an icon mask to make the icons round. One thing this theme does not have is a calendar icon that is themed and I think the dev should fix that because overall this is a very nice theme and I think you guys should go check it out. Alright so the next theme I'm going to be showing you guys is called Muse 3. Now this one it's kind of like a dark look to it and if you guys actually use this yourself you guys can see what I mean by dark. Now all the icons are here they're pretty much bright but some of them are also dark so if you guys use Eclipse or something like that or you guys have a dark theme enabled or setup I mean then this theme will go perfect for you. So as you guys can see, some icons are kind of similar to my theme Bliss, 
For example, the FaceTime icon in the middle that's green, you guys can see that there is an inner circle that is darker green with the icon inside of it. Now this is pretty similar to mine. All right, the next theme I'm gonna be showing you guys is called Polyglyph. Now this one is pretty different from the ones that I've seen in my life of jailbreaking. So Polyglyph basically makes a little bit of a little animation that's not movable, but stuck as an icon. So as you guys can see, there is like a lot of shapes that are inside of each icon, depending on which app it is. So it's a little slanted, but you guys can see there are different kinds of shapes and different shades and whatnot for each app. But still in the center, it does show which application and which icon it might correspond to. So if you guys want to try something different and multicolored, go ahead and get this theme called Polyglyph. So the next theme I'm going to be showing you guys is called Simple iOS. Now the name of the theme is basically what the theme is. It's pretty simple. So as you guys can see, there is more of a green look to it. Now I might be wrong because these are just the stock applications that are on an iPhone. But as you guys can see, it's pretty much all green or some shade of green. Very minimalistic, nothing too new, not a lot of colors besides the icon itself. But still a very nice theme to apply if you guys want something simple. So if you guys want this, again, it's called Simple iOS. So the last and final theme I'm going to be showing for this video is called Vexium. Now Vexium is also colorful as well as having half dark icons as well. So as you guys can see from the screenshot, according to the stock Apple icons, we do see that some of them are very dark and some of them are very bright. In my opinion, I believe that if the icons were a lot colorful with this type of look, I think it would look perfect. So for example, you guys can see the Photos app in the very top right hand corner right next to the camera. If it looks something similar to that for all icons, then it would look awesome. But again, this is my opinion. So as you guys can see, there is a diverse amount of icons that are colorful as well as just plain white. So if you guys like this theme, go ahead and check it out. And again, it's called Vexium. So that's all the themes I'm going to be covering. Go ahead and leave a like if you guys like this video and want more theme reviews, as well as subscribe to get videos just like this in the future, as well as tweak reviews once they are released by devs as well. Also, go ahead and follow me on my Twitter page and my Facebook page to be informed on anything jailbreak related and go ahead and connect with me on there as well. So I'll see you guys in my next video. This is Elite Apple Hacks signing out.